Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that, let's fix that. Most of my students get $50,000, $75,000 within two months. OK, so again, in eight weeks of putting the business together the correct way, eight weeks later, they have fifty thousand, one hundred thousand dollars in business funding. OK, because you don't need perfect personal credit and you can even pay off some of your personal debt with your business credit cards and things like that. Let me give you a quick example. If you have a personal credit card and say, for example, you've almost maxed it out. Well, when you get a business credit card, you can actually transfer that balance onto your, your business credit card in many cases, not always, especially if you've used the money on your personal credit card for your business. Like myself, I when I first started um, writing books and speaking and things like that, I started running Facebook ads. And so I was using my own personal credit card. And so when my balance got near my limit, my credit score dropped again, again. I had bad credit when I lived with my parents, got out of their situation, and then like in 2014, had bad credit again. So long story short, but it was because my balances were really close to my limit. So then fast forward, when I get business credit cards and I learn about that, again, three, four years, three years into my business, somebody teaches me what I'll teach you at the Grow Your Wealth event, how to set the business up, how to get the Dun & Bradstreet, how to get the business credit cards, what to put on the applications, what not to put. And again, we can't tell you exactly, but in many cases, we know just like some no-nos of what not to be putting on these applications, what not to say to the banker if you do it in person, if you should do it online, which banks you should do which with, all of that stuff someone taught me, Okay. And then so now I do that. I start getting all of these business credit cards and then I could transfer the balance to the business credit card. The money that I was paying on my personal credit card, I just started paying on the business credit card. It was just that simple. And so then my personal credit score went up because now mostly all of my credit cards are paid off. So that's amazing when you pay off your credit cards. It really does boost your personal credit score. And then your business credit score is not negatively affected by the, the limit being close to the top of the balance being close to the limit. Because in business credit, it's a different scoring system. They don't necessarily care as much if you're as close to the limit as they do with your personal credit score. With your personal credit score, that's a big part of your personal credit score. But with business credit, it is not. You being able to just make the payments each month is going to keep you with a good business credit score. You don't have to worry about staying 30% um, the limit to balance ratio, which is really low on, on, on personal credit. On personal credit, you really should not. Your credit card should never be more than 30% of the limit. So if you have a $1,000 credit card limit, okay, on your personal credit, $1,000, you should not be charging more than $300 on that card. Otherwise, your personal credit score is going to be lowered. But on business credit, if you have a thousand dollar credit, and now here's another caveat, here's another fun thing. With business credit, most of your limits are higher. So if you get a Chase Business, Chase Inc. card, they give like 10,000, 20,000, 25,000, like brand new students I see get 25,000 and 50,000 dollar credit limits. Okay? And that's much different than a personal credit card. You got great personal credit, and they'll give you a three thousand dollar limit. For no reason. So, but on the business credit side, they know that you're using this money for a business. You may be using it to buy inventory. You may be using it to buy all of the furnishing for a restaurant or a Airbnb. So you, you may, you be, you're going to charge quite a bit. So they give you much higher limits because you're working to build a business and you are a business. So you are going to make much more revenue than one person. Remember as a person with personal credit, you're just one person. As a business, you are a team. Y'all can make millions of dollars. Like me just hiring one assistant, I was able to go from like $400,000 a year to a million dollars a year just with one VA. Okay? So just having one person in your business to help you. So just imagine as your company grows, which is why you see these big corporations, they have tens of 20, 30, 50,000 employees, but each person is almost working to generate income for them in many cases. That's why there's usually a big marketing department, there's a big sales department because they are bringing in revenue to the business and getting them tax deductions. So that's why you see a lot of people work in accounting because um, in the United States, uh, corporations are incentivized for hiring people and having salaries and different things like that. They don't have to pay as much taxes. So go to growyourwealthevent.com, 
Get your tickets. Use the code LABOR to save 70% off the tickets. Okay, I'm going to stay on here because I want y'all to buy the tickets and tell me that you bought it. And then when you buy it, if you buy it today, I actually give you a copy of my book, the ebook. I'll give you a copy of the ebook, Pick a Horse. Pick a Horse is an Amazon bestseller. I've, I've sold so many copies of this book. Um, it talks about just how you can pick one thing and make a lot of money with it. Okay, literally, you can make a million dollars with anything that you enjoy doing. OK, I love putting properties together, putting the furniture. I make millions of dollars doing that. I know people that make a million dollars with landscaping businesses. I know people that make money as a coach, life coaches. I know I've met so many life coaches. People want to life coach me. And I do have some issues, but not that many that. But again, life coaches that make millions of dollars and they're actually really good at what they do. But all you have to do is just focus in on one thing. And so if you get your ticket. I will give you a copy of that book, Pick a Horse. So one of the things, like I said, it's a three-day event, the Grow Your Wealth event. It's three days, and the first day is actually a tour. So we have to limit how many people, and I have to know in advance because I have to get the bus. I have to get your food. Like I said, on day one, your food is included. There's a breakfast. There's a lunch at the properties. There's a part. There's a networking party by the pool at the hotel, and there's hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that served and drinks. So day one, all of your food. That's why I said you should get your tickets now because this is a really, really good deal. It's three days with me and my team, okay? Mostly me and showing you my real properties and really how I do this. So get your tickets to the Grow Your Wealth event, September 27th through the 29th. Get your tickets now. Tell me. Somebody gas sent me a gift. Oh.